1197, a force of German crusaders arrives in the Holy Land. There, they find that the Order of the Hospital of St. Mary of the Germans, established only a few years earlier during the Third Crusade, is flourishing, caring for the ill and providing lodging for pilgrims. Many of the brothers of the Order are trained knights who have abandoned a military life for a religious vocation of helping the sick and the poor. However, the Christian states on the coast of Syria and Palestine, facing the powerful Saracen Ayyubids to their east, suffer from a chronic shortage of fighting men. The German crusaders conclude that the brothers of the hospital of St. Mary should begin taking on military duties. The Holy Roman Emperor Heinrich VI believes that a German military order will help focus and maintain German interest in the Holy Land. In 1197, Heinrich sends a request to Pope Celestine III to reincorporate the German hospital as a military order. The Pope agrees, issuing the order a new charter. In 1198, a new military order is born, essentially a German incarnation of the heavily French Knights Templar this order, the Brothers of the German House of St. Mary, is better known to the world as the Teutonic Knights. The Teutonic Knights model themselves closely after the Templars, adopting their rule virtually word for word. The rule is written down in German so that all members can understand it easily. Although they retain their hospital function, they are now primarily a military organization their membership is dominated by knights who require horses, weapons, equipment, and support staff. Like the Templars, they devote themselves to celibacy, poverty, and obedience, as well as to the cause of the Crusade. They are fighters, warriors who will ride into battle against the enemies of Christendom. The earliest history of the Teutonic Knights is obscure. Although they possess a few estates in the Holy Land, the early death of Heinrich VI in 1197 leaves the order small and obscure for many years. During their first decade of existence, no more than two dozen fully-fledged brother knights occupied their ranks. It's in 1210, on the election of Hermann von Salza, as the Order's Grand Master, that their history as a major force in the Crusades begins. Hermann von Salza is one of those rare men of equal vision and ability. His origins are humble. His family is of the ministeriali class, that is, knightly, but not quite noble. Generations before, one of Hermann's ancestors raised the family's status through valor, competence, or both. Hermann's birth could prevent him from rising through the ranks of the Templars or the Hospitallers, but a small order like the Teutonic Knights presents him with clear opportunity. There, his affable personality and keen organizational abilities immediately stand out. While still in his 30s, he's elected Grand Master in 1215, the new Holy Roman Emperor, Friedrich II, names Hermann a Prince of the Empire and gets the Order's privileges confirmed and extended. In 1217, Hermann joins the Fifth Crusade, an expedition meant to conquer Egypt, the power center of the Ayyubid Sultanate. During the Third Crusade in the 1190s, Richard the Lionheart, envisioned a conquest of Egypt, which would enable the Christians to hold Jerusalem long term. The Fifth Crusade is meant to put that plan into effect. Launched from Crusader-controlled Cyprus, the army of the Fifth Crusade besieges Damietta, the port that guards the Nile Delta. Although he commands only a few knights, Hermann stands out among the leadership council of the Crusade. Ultimately, the Fifth Crusade ends in failure, but over the course of the campaign, Hermann wins many donations and privileges for his order.
Many blame the failure of the Fifth Crusade on the Holy Roman Emperor. Friedrich II failed to personally bring aid to the Crusaders in their hour of need. But Hermann maintained strict loyalty to the Emperor throughout this criticism. He knows well that his plans for his order's expansion will require the Emperor's goodwill. During the 1220s, Hermann accompanies Friedrich on imperial business, demonstrating his competence as a diplomat. When the Emperor announces his plans to at last lead his own crusade, Hermann seizes the opportunity to promote the Teutonic Order as the leading force in the German crusader effort. During the Sixth Crusade, which is led by Friedrich II, the Teutonic Knights provide a large contingent in support of the Emperor. Throughout the Crusade, Hermann proves to be a crucial diplomatic and military resource for the Emperor. After long negotiations with the Sultan of Egypt, Friedrich achieves a questionable surrender of Jerusalem, leaving the Holy City insecurely in Christian hands. But in terms of the Holy Roman Empire's relations with the Templars, the Hospitallers, and the local barons of the Crusader States, the Crusade is a disaster. Friedrich ignores the laws of the Crusader States and attempts to force imperial rule, which provokes resistance from the nobles and military orders resident in the Holy Land. Hermann avoids antagonizing the local powers and thus spares the Teutonic Knights reprisals after the Emperor departs. By now, no man is closer to the Emperor, whether as advisor or as friend, than Hermann von Salza. It's a remarkable rise for the son of the humblest of knightly families. Also by now, the Teutonic Order has grown considerably. In addition to being generously rewarded by Friedrich II, the Knights are attracting donations from across Christendom. After his experiences in the Fifth and Sixth Crusades, Hermann has come to the conclusion that his order's future likely does not lie primarily in the Holy Land. He's received an intriguing offer from Duke Conrad of Masovia, whose Polish borderlands are suffering raids from the pagans of the Prussian wilderness. Duke Conrad wants Teutonic Knights on his frontier as a buffer against Prussian raids. Hermann responds favorably, dispatching a contingent of knights to establish a presence in Prussia. By now, crusading is already well underway in the Baltic North, but no large military order has yet entrenched itself on this front. Already, Hermann is beginning to contemplate the idea of a major Teutonic effort in the area. We'll learn more about this in the next video.